Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. <laughs> Lightspeed. Lightspeed Spanish. Today this is lesson number 51 for early intermediate even though it's edging up to advanced intermediate. So this is another test for you. We're going to be testing your Spanish to know if you are B1 to B2. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. What, what would you be? <laughs> what would you be? B1 or B2? What would you rather be or a wasp? As my dad used to ask. So what we're going to do is this. Cynthia is going to ask me the questions. We'll pause like we did the last time. And then you have to fill in the gap. Yeah, you have to answer. And then I'll answer. Okay. All right. And Muy then bien. we'll see whether you... So if you get all of these, you know that you are, you've achieved a B2. Muy bien. Muy bien. Vale. Perfecto. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Okay, Cynthia, test my level. Okay, so uh, last week we did this for beginners, mm -hmm. yes, and we tested A1 and A2. So if you haven't done that test, you can go to um, the beginners number 50, mm -hmm. yes? Yeah, exactly. And now we're doing this for early intermediate, for intermediate. And this is B1 and B2. Okay. So Gordon, I ask you a question, mm -hmm. uh, and then you pick exactly. out, out of A, B, C, yeah? Re and remember, if you need time, pause the you video. You can pause the video. While you think about it, okay? Yes. Eh, número uno. Mm. Hace mucho tiempo que no veo a Rosa. Mm -hmm. A. Acabo de verla por la calle. B. He acabado de verla por la calle. C. Acabé de verla por la calle. It doesn't matter if Gordon looks because I don't have them. Um, there are no answers. There, there are no there. answers. They're not, so. they're not highlighted. <laughs> mm. What would you choose? A, B, or C? Gordon, what would you so choose? So I would choose A. Acabo de verla por la calle. Muy bien, correcto. And, mm. um, why not he acabado? I've just. No? Exactly, but <laughs> the, with that verb acabar, it only uses two ways: a, acabo and acababa. Mm -hmm. So it tends not to use the other tenses because that the it's basically acabo de is I have just. Exactly. That's how it translates. Exactly. Muy mm -hmm. bien, muy bien, Gordon. Número dos. Esta pregunta mm, mal formulada. A ah, esta pregunta está mal formulada. B. Esta pregunta es mal formulada. O C. Esta pregunta hace mal formulada. <laughs> How would you say formulada? For, you can say made. formulated. Made. Badly made. Badly made. <laughs> okay, so I would say. Uh, the answer is A. Está mal formulada. Muy bien. Esta pregunta está mal formulada. Mm -hmm. And my reasoning for that, because obviously when ser and estar, which is a nightmare, is because we've got the word mal, and it's always está bien, está mal. Está bien, está mal. Muy you bien. can't say es bien and es mal. You, it doesn't go together. Muy bien. Correcto. Mm -hmm. And hace... Hace no, nada, no, nada. No. Muy bien, número 3. ¿En qué trabajas? Mm, profesora de química, física y química. Pero ahora mm, de camarera. Ok. Eh, ¿En qué trabajas? A. Estoy profesora de física y química, pero ahora soy de camarera. B. Soy profesora de física y química, pero ahora soy de camarera, o C, soy profesora de física y química, pero ahora estoy de camarera. Mm, ¿Serán estas? ¿Serán estas? Mm, so I would say, sí. 
Soy profesora y estoy de camarera. Muy bien. So, what's the difference? Well, because profesora is my t my job, and as we said the last time, it's a characteristic of the person. It's what we are. Muy yeah. Bien. Yeah. But temporarily, I'm working as a waitress. That's not my real profession. Mm -hmm. It's not my profession, so that's why we use this. Estoy, estoy de. It's like temporary. Thing. Exactly. So when it's a temporary thing, mm -hmm. you would say estar de. Vacaciones, estar de. Yeah, like de, estar de vacaciones. It, it's just something that we're just doing at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah? So estoy de. In this case, estoy de camarera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like I'm working as a waitress, but it's not really my my job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or my profession, my career. Muy bien. Número cuatro. Ahora no puedo mm, de lo que me dijo. Ah, ahora no puedo acordarme de lo que me dijo. B. Ahora no puedo recordarme de lo que me dijo. C. Ahora no puedo recordar de lo que me dijo. So for me, the right answer is A, acordarme de. Muy bien. And, well, the, the, the giveaway here is the de, yeah? the preposition de. Only if you know that acordarse, acordarse. always has a preposition de, and mm -hmm. recordar doesn't have any preposition. No. Recordar algo, acordarse de algo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And recordarme would be like remind Rem me. Remind like, me. Recuérdame, mm -hmm. recuérdame que mañana compre eso. Remind mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. to buy that tomorrow. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why we say, te acuerdas de mí? Mm -hmm. Do you exactly. remember me? So acordarse de. Or you could say, me recuerdas. Mm -hmm. Me recuerdas o te acuerdas de mí. Te acuerdas de mí is more common, mm. even though it's a bit longer. Uh -huh. And we tend to be lazy, but that one, mm. in that case. Um, número 5. No me gusta que la gente... Mm. A. No me gusta que la gente hablen tan alto. B. No me gusta que la gente hable tan alto. C. No me gusta que la gente habla tan alto. So, hablen, hable, habla. So, I would say B. Hable tan alto. Okay. So, right, a couple of questions here, Gordon. So, we've got people. Mm -hmm. People, is it plural or is it singular? I mean, in, in Spanish. It's singular because it's la gente, not las gentes or las personas, la gente. So okay. you know you're dealing with the singular thing. Because in English it's plural. Mm -hmm. You say people are. People yeah? are. But in mm -hmm. Spanish we say people is. Uh -huh. So it's like a collect collect collective noun. Noun, yeah. Um, and also another question. Uh, why are we using subjunctive here? Because we are in the opinion. Okay. okay? Or the um, obligation, it really doesn't matter. They're both exactly the same structure, which is, I don't like that they do this. And that's a yeah. trigger for the subjunctive, always. So it's when you don't like, and then it goes outside, yeah? I don't yeah. like that you exactly. do something. I don't like when something does something. Yeah. But not when you don't like something. No, for yourself. Like, I don't like to play football, for example. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. that in that case, it wouldn't be. No, it's only for, yeah, outside. But it's mm -hmm. the same as, I don't want them to talk so loudly. I don't like that they talk so yeah. loudly. It's all subjunctive. We have a book on subjunctive, by the way, with we all of do. these things covered. We um, certainly do. Número 6. Yo creo que mm, mañana ya estará listo. A. Yo creo que para mañana ya estará listo. B. Yo creo que Hace mañana ya estará listo. C. Yo creo que por mañana ya estará listo. So, mm -hmm. por y para. Oh, oh hace. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say a para. Correcto. Para mañana. Mm, because para, remember, para es diara. Para is, is always a deadline. Para. 
is the deadline. So it's by tomorrow. When you say by tomorrow, even though it's the by word. Exactly. I was going to say by which tends would to be por. Yeah. yeah. But because there's always a destination involved, which is the point tomorrow. It's a, f it's a fixed point. That's why we use para. Mm -hmm. We also have a book on prepositions. <laughs> on por yeah, we have prepositions and we also have a book on por y para. And por y para. Exactly. We've been busy. Yeah, we have a book on por y para, exactly. Uh, número siete. ¿Dónde mm, la recepción de la boda? A. Ah, ¿Dónde estará la recepción de la boda? B. ¿Dónde será la recepción de la boda? O C. ¿Dónde pusiste la recepción de la boda? Ok, pusiste. What a choice. <laughs> okay, so the answer where is... Where do you put it? Where do you put it? Yeah. <laughs> it threw me that. I can't, I can't how, find how would it. that work? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the answer is B. Será. Okay, so we're talking about location. Mm. Why would you choose the verb to be when it's something permanent? Every single location in Spanish is estar except for organized functions, organized things like parties, weddings, receptions, baptisms, funerals, mm -hmm. concerts. concerts, anything you're going to use said. Okay. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Yeah, because mo uh, in most cases, donde is followed by está. Mm -hmm. Donde está. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're asking where something is. Exactly. Um, where is the bank? Where is my wallet? Where is... Mm -hmm. For as much as it Stuart. sounds really weird to me, still. ¿Dónde es la boda? Still sounds yeah. weird. For to events, me. for events. Events, yeah. Events es. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Eh, número 8. ¿Habrías conocido a Paula si mm, venido con nosotros? A. ¿Habrías conocido a Paula si habrías venido con nosotros. B. ¿Habrías conocido a Paula si hubieras venido con nosotros? O C. ¿Habrías conocido a Paula si has venido con nosotros? Ok, so my answer is B. Hubieras. Muy bien. Mm. I was thinking about... Um, um, American people like exactly. from the US so and Canada. So would I. I was thinking <laughs> A is the American yeah. uh, choice. Uh -huh. Yeah. The double word. The yeah. double word. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So why why B? Because they go hand in hand. The the trick to remember is with this structure of if blah blah would just think of the word Sierra, okay? Sierra Sierra because the C always goes with Yera Ara. So you can't start mixing them up with with a um, conditional, okay? So it always says si hubiera, si tuviera, si pudiera, okay? And obviously the other ones as well. Mm -hmm. in, in sentences like these, like yeah. if 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 I had, I would. Exactly. Yeah? It's, oh, there must be a wood there. There must be a wood. If yes. there isn't a wood there, then it might be something different. Exactly. Número nueve. We have 12, by the way. Okay. This time I make sure that I didn't have a yeah, yeah, double, number, double seven, yeah. uh, double six. Um, número nueve. Por muy lejos que mm, siempre estaremos juntos. A. Por muy lejos que sea, siempre estaremos juntos. B. Por muy lejos que estoy, siempre estaremos juntos. O C. Por muy lejos que esté, siempre estaremos juntos. Yeah, we're getting challenging now, eh? Yeah, well, it's B2. Yeah, challenging now. So it's B2, I yeah. would say, and congratulations, it's the first time that you've chosen to put it into a C. Uh huh. Hey, mm -hmm. I've, I've shuffled. Shuffled, you know? yeah. So, este, no? Este. Mm hmm. So why why subjunctive again? Well, this is a this is a might be, 
you know, no matter how far away I might be. So mm-hmm. it's that feeling of might be. I could be far away or I could be close, yeah, yeah. to you. No matter how, yeah. So it's like a, one of those uh, possibilities of, um, yeah. I hmm. don't know where I'm going to be. It's an afterwards, it's an afterwards in the, in our whooper because it's like, it's referring to a future time when you may be far away, yeah. And obviously we use estar because we use estar lejos. Yeah. Yeah, to be far away. Yeah, for location, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not for events. Not for events. For yeah. other locations. Número 10. Ha perdido su empleo. Mm. Busca trabajo. A. Ha perdido su empleo porque busca trabajo. B. Ha perdido su empleo de ahí que busca trabajo. C. Ha perdido su empleo así que busca trabajo. Okay, so I see the pattern you're running now. Another C. Another C. A C K. Mm-hmm. I have no pattern. No. Just A B C B C A. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's no pattern. Okay. So, así que, no? Así que. Mm-hmm. Um, why not be? De ahí que. Hence, com- like hence. Just because the, the truth of the matter is that I've never used that. Right, well, I'll tell you why. Because if we had be, then it would have to be busque. Ah, busca, it would have to okay. be subjunctive. If he had been in subjunctive, busque trabajo, the correct answer would have been be. De ahí que busque trabajo. But since it's it's in indicative mood, busca. Okay, so Así that puts que, it into, so, therefore, mm-hmm. should be, yeah? Okay, okay, yeah. muy bien. Mm-hmm. Muy bien, número 11. So two more, eh? 11 and 12. La mayoría de las personas... Mm, Quedarse. A. La mayoría de las personas preferían quedarse. B. La mayoría de las personas prefería quedarse. O C. La mayoría de las personas prefieran quedarse. So, this is a really interesting question because um, we pause the video because we had a difference of opinion <laughs> and the difference of opinion was that I said it was preferia because we're talking about la mayoría and Cynthia said that everybody here in Spain would say preferían yeah virtually everybody I think mm-hmm. yeah because it's las personas so we had a look on the, um, the I've, I've had a look on the um, one of the official pages for Spanish Okay, with that question, and they said that it would be, it could be the singular, but it could also well be the plural, mm-hmm. um, and in case of doubt, the plural, funny enough. If in doubt, yeah. But in the uh, Dele course, they're saying that the singular, so for the exam, the sake of the exam, go for the singular in the exam, so most of the persons instead of what people yeah uh, go for the singular in the exam but uh, i would say personas okay i mean it's not that so so i mean sorry preferiría preferían it's not the end of the world but for an exam yeah then for an exam, obviously they're, they're watching for you to be you know absolutely la mayoría singular so it has to be preferiría yeah yeah interesting okay okay and number 12 lucas no ha venido hoy Mm, ocupado. A. Lucas no ha venido hoy. Es ocupado. B. Lucas no ha venido hoy. Estará ocupado. O. Sí. C. Lucas no ha venido hoy. Será ocupado. Ok, so I would say... B. Estará. Muy bien. Ocupado. Estará ocupado. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You say that in English as well, yeah? Oh, he'll be busy. He'll be busy. Yeah, yeah. we do exactly the same. Yeah. He'll be busy. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And obviously it would be a star. Yeah. Because be- it's a state yeah, that you, you're in. You're busy, but that doesn't mean that that's what you are as a person. It's a temporary I'm state. Busy now, yeah, I'm busy now. And then I won't on. be busy later on. Exactly. Yeah. Hopefully, right. if you've got your life sorted then you won't be busy later. Yeah, you're permanently busy, so yeah. you would, you, you're moving towards sad. I'm, I'm more sad <laughs> at the moment in terms of busyness, yeah. Es un hombre ocupado. Es un hombre ocupado. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, so there you are, that's brilliant. Uh, so how did you do? Did you get them all? Did you get nearly all of them? Because obviously if you got them all, then that's it, you're up to B2. Uh, if you got nearly all of them, well, you... That's your area. That's your area in which you can start to study and do the, you know, if you, especially if you're doing um, online courses and stuff like that, you know where you can target your your Spanish around about that area. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. And next week we'll finish um, this series with C1 and C2. Then it's going to get. That's going to be tough. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> We've already had an argument in this one. <laughs> well, not an argument. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, an argument. Um, <laughs> a fight. So, but like. we both won. We were both right. Ha! That was good. Um, yeah, but C1, C2, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be a challenge, okay? So let's see how you do. It's funny, isn't it? Because sometimes um, what they, in English as well, what they ask you to do in exams, it's not the reality no. out there, you know? Not at all. <laughs> sometimes not it's like. All. Okay, that's what you want me to say in the exam, but lots of times, um, well, not lots of times, but every now and then, we would never say it that way, or we would say it another way, or exactly. Um, the so exams, the exams are there to give to you to give a, you a grade, a, a grade and a certificate, yeah. so then you can go off and forget everything that you've learned. That's well, no, you don't forget way. because that language you don't really forget, but um, then you have to. Learn the real, the real Spanish. The real Spanish. Yeah. When you when yeah. you live there, when and you that, that's the same for everybody. It doesn't yeah. Matter where, where, however you learn it, then you go out to the street and say, "What have I been learning?" Yes. I remember saying, Cynthia saying to me, "What language have I been learning all of these years in well, college?" Because that's not the language that I'm hearing in the street. But that's also because I went to Newcastle. Went in the I north, mean, maybe if I had, uh, no, actually, I, no, no, I think it would have happened anywhere. I went, I went to Murcia. <laughs> And I came back saying, I don't know what language I've been learning, but it's definitely not Murciano. But also because you had been in Mexico before, so it's exactly. a big change. It's like if I yeah. if I learn in, I don't know, in the US, and then I go to Ireland. Exactly. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Northern go, Ireland. Wow, that's a big, yeah, that big difference. Be, yeah. What? <laughs> um, so, there you are. So now, just a quick word from our sponsor. Okay. Since you already mentioned that, we've got a subjunctive book. The subjunctive came up. We've got a por and para book. The por and para came up. We've got a preposition book. Prepositions came up. We have up. a ser en estar. Ser en estar With book. all the ser in, in past up. tense yeah. as well. So we've got an awful lot of um, resources. resources out there. Please don't forget, or, or please remember, <laughs> please remember that on our website, we also have an awful lot of resources. An awful lot. And you can find it by going to all episodes, okay, on our um, video casts, all episodes. And it gives you the whole page, and you can choose all of the, the video casts that we've done. But remember that we've got other stuff like El Aula. And in there, we've got other stuff as well. And we've got something on the subjunctive. So the, there's just endless resources there. So never you never have to be wondering, well, what shall I study? Because we've got something for everyone. And on top of that, we have our uh, socio membership. Yeah. Um, and that's for people who want to learn a little bit more and want more of a... Um, well, it's not a one-to-one, but they can send requests and we mm-hmm. can cover them uh, in the class and they get four... No, eight. Eight videos yeah. a month. Yeah, two a week. Two a week, eight a month. Eight videos yeah. a month. And then they get the transcription, the translation and homework. On exactly. what they've requested exactly so you know if you like this kind of format then we produce eight of these a month for people who are who are our subscribers and, and a private group on telegram and a private group Sotheos. on telegram and also the ability to ask for lessons you see, give yeah me this exactly lesson. yeah all right so we 
tons of stuff. If you want to learn Spanish, we are here to help you and we'll help you in every way that we can. Entonces, eso es todo. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.